Theorem 8.1, Polygon Interior Angles Theorem. This theorem tells us that the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon with n number of sides is going to be n minus 2 times 180. But let's look at why this is. So we know if we have a triangle, we have three sides and we'll say that makes one triangle. So the sum, and yes, this little symbol here means sum, kind of looks like a really angular E. So the sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees. Well, if we have a quadrilateral, we can cut this into two triangles. So this is a four-sided figure that cuts into two triangles. And the sum of its interior angles is going to be those two triangles times 180, which is 360 degrees. A pentagon. We pick an angle. We can cut this into three triangles. So we have a five-sided figure with three triangles. The sum of its interior angles is 540 degrees. Notice that however many sides we have, the number of triangles we can create is that number minus 2. Then the number of triangles we create, we take the, that number of triangles times 180, and that gives us the sum of the interior angles. This is where our formula comes from. So if we have n number of sides, we take n minus 2 to determine the number of triangles, and multiply that number by 180 to determine the sum of the interior angles. This is why you, oh, that's not good. This is why you need to know this equation. It is very important. The sum of the interior angles of a convex polygon is n minus 2 times 180. This brings us to the corollary to theorem 8.1, interior angles of a quadrilateral. We know that the f we are specifically working with a four-sided figure, and this could be any kind of four-sided figure. Our quadrilateral will divide into two triangles, meaning the sum of its angles is 360 degrees. This is what the corollary tells us. The interior angles of a quadrilateral, the sum of the measure of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So here's your first example. Find the measure of the missing angles. Note these arcs do mean that angle E and angle D are congruent. All right, try this on your own first and resume the video when you're ready to check the solution. We know we have a pentagon, which is five sides. Using our equation, we do five minus two times 180. This gives us three times 180, which tells us that the sum of the angles is 540 degrees. I can then add up these numbers. So we take 93 plus 156 plus 85 gives us 334. 540 minus 334 gives me 206. So this 260, 206 degrees has to be split between angle E and angle D. 206 divided by 2 is 103, so the measure of angle E, which equals the measure of angle D, equals 103 degrees.